Hello everyone, welcome back to a new review and today I'm going to be looking at this Nightfox Cub Digital Night Vision Monocular which is, to my knowledge, about the best you can get on the market for an IR Digital Night Vision Monocular. And now one thing to go into before I pop this open is it's got a viewing angle of 10 degrees and it's got fixed optical magnification at three times which means if you're thinking about using this thing to find your way uh, during the dark probably not going to happen this thing is more supposed by on animal animals now when you pop this open you're going to get your monocular up here just pops out like that and they also throw in in this little kind of elastic pouch you've got a little piece of string which threads into the bottom of the monocular right there and then that's a little wrist strap for you and you also get a charging cable now this is a nice little carrying case quite glad they put that in it's hard shell it feels like and it's quite handy keeps your monocular safe so that looking into the device on the bottom you've got a quarter inch threaded tripod hole so if you want to mount a tripod got a little indicator right here when you are charging the device that will be red when it finishes charging it will go green i've already said that's the wrist strap right and now looking at the top you've got ir pass and minus buttons in between the IR buttons and the off button here, on off on button, that little hole there, that is a reset button. You could press that with the SIM ejector or needle, something like that. Something small enough to fit in there will reset the device if it freezes on you. Uh, you've also got a mode slash brightness button, that's for the screen. You've also got a record slash take photo button and a little magnifying glass thing. So looking at the bottom of the device, you now one thing to know about this is this little eyepiece thing here it's actually a, it's got a little bit of flex which means you can actually put this right up to your eye and it will stop any light from escaping and now another thing you can probably notice by just looking at the video is this display is actually behind a lens which means as long as you're not long sighted and even if you are short sighted you can just put this straight up to your eye and you'll be able to look through it and no light will escape Whereas with the budget monocular I reviewed before, you couldn't do that. You had to hold it a decent bit away from your eye so you could actually look at your screen. Now, on the bottom of the device, as I was saying, if you flip up this little port here, you can pop out, give me a sec, there we go, micro SD card, which they will include with the device when you purchase it, 32 gigabytes, fairly reasonable capacity, it's enough to store videos, and below that, you've got a USB-C charging port, which is quite nice. It's nice to see everything using USB-C these days. And now, when you've actually got the device on, in the top right corner of the display, it will show you a timer saying how many more hours, minutes, and seconds of video you can take before you finish filling out the card. And if you want to switch to a different mode, there's four modes. You've got video, photo, playback, and settings. All of which you access by holding down this button here, which is the brightness button if you short press it, or the mode button if you hold it down. At the front of the device, you've got this little focus wheel that spins, and that allows you to focus your video. If you're noticing it's a little blurry, you probably haven't focused it quite right. And now below that, you've got your IR LED, 1.5 watts, I believe. Yep, 1.5 watts. It is a 50 nanometer, which means if another person does look at it, they will be able to see. Now, it's not as bright as it looks on this video. My camera can pick up IR, so that's why you're seeing that. But to the human eye, naked human eye that is, it just appears as a dull red glow. It's not that bad. However, if you go down at a level, you actually do get this mode, which is IR zero, which means the camera, monocular rather, has actually switched to IR mode However, it does allow you to use your own uh, torch. So you could have your own 940 nanometer torch, and that is obviously invisible to the naked human eye. And that would allow you to go around with this thing, and no one would be able to see the fact that you've got an IR LED on, unless they're also using an IR camera, or they have night vision equipment of their own. Now, another thing I quite like that Night Fox have done here, is there's two screws you can unscrew here, which actually does allow you to get access to the 18650 cell they've put inside here. Now, I believe they've used the LG cell for this 
particular monocular, which is one of the best 18650 cells you can get on the market. And that means when this device gets older, you've used it a lot, been through a few deep battery cycles, not holding as much charge as it used to, you can just take it out, put a fresh one in, and boom, good as new. Or if you don't want to wait for the three hours it takes to charge from flat, you can just take out the used up battery, put in a fresh one, and charge that one while you use a fresh battery. Now then, while I'm quite impressed with what Nightfox have done here, just looking at it, it out of the box, I haven't actually taken this thing out to test it yet. So let's go take it out to the field and I'll show you some videos of what it looks like in the field right now. So then in this clip, I'm starting off with this normal visible light light. And then you can see I switched to IR zero and you can see it becomes slightly more visible that car I'm looking at over there. It was actually quite hard to see through the monocular. That's probably because I should have turned the brightness setting up a bit. But you can really see once I switch on the IR camera, those reflective surfaces on the car really become visible. Now, another thing I do quite like about this camera is, as you can see right now, I'm in visible light mode. How once I switch to IR, it does actually pick up on visible light quite a bit. So if someone is shining around a torch, which just does emit normal visible light and you're in IR mode, you still will be able to see their light. So it's quite handy. And as you can see, the footage is a little bit grainy when I switch to IR mode, but it's really not too bad. Another very notable difference is when I swing the monocular around, I'm not getting the video warping. I'm not sure exactly what you would call it, but it's like this really amplified fisheye effect. I got with the other budget monocular I had, but this one doesn't have those issues at all. And it's really quite impressive how well it can focus on two different objects at a range and still offer me a clear picture, as you can see on screen right now. Now then, it's quite clear that this monocular really does shine for what it's made to do. It's great at, you know, looking out your window, looking at far ranges to scout out the area, orientate yourself, see what's around you in the dark. However, if you're thinking about using this to like, you know, get around, walk in the dark, that's not what this is made for. It's got three times optical magnification. You can't change that. It's stuck as that. And that's really going to hinder you if you're trying to make your way around. I did actually try to use it to get around while holding it up to my eye, as you can see on screen right now. However, it just doesn't work properly. I also did have my other eye open at the same time, so I got this mixed view with night vision and not light vision, which works fairly well. It's good so you can get a broader view of what you're actually looking at, and then you've got the night vision zoomed in view on your other eye, which does work quite well. So, in summary, if you're thinking about getting this thing to help yourself get around, don't. It's only really good for scouting out an area, but if that is what you're looking for, do stay around and check out my profile since soon I will be uploading another review on some actual night vision goggles designed to actually solve that issue and help you get around. Like, think airsoft. Now then, for the rest of this video, it's just going to be some example footage I got so you can see what you'd really be expecting if you purchased this device. So, if you want to watch that, feel free, but there's not going to be any more narration for the rest of the video.